kept seeing a car go into the water. All day they've been showing me reruns in my mind of adventures with purpose. BP's gonna find her in that in the Prosser Lake. We have found Kylie Rodney's vehicle. Again, our search for Kylie at Prosser Creek Reservoir on August 21st at 10. There are plenty of questions and very few answers after four students at the University of Idaho were found murdered in their off-campus house. It's like if you look at Ted Bundy's eyes and you look at his eyes, they're the same. Maybe a little bit lighter. Uh, the one thing that I keep seeing is curls. So I don't know if he has curly hair or wavy hair, and that might be when it's grown out. I think he dungated, like his, his face might be a little bit longer. Um, there's a reference to a pointier type nose. He honestly looks a lot like Ted Bundy, but like a jacked up uh, Ted Bundy, okay. like not as handsome. I keep getting like a, like a security guard or a, a badge, getting like a Brian or something like that. It's because they are going to catch him because I keep, I'm seeing him in an orange jumpsuit. He wasn't as smart as he thought he was. Okay. Um, but he's probably going to go to jail for this eventually. I keep getting December. The name Richard again. I also get the name Rick. Damn name Allen is coming in again. I jailed 50-year-old Richard Allen in connection with the double murder. Teen best friends Libby German and Abby Williams went hiking on a trail and never came home. Done on November 20th. 2019 at 7:14 p.m. Quentin or Quentin, but I'm seeing trash and I don't. 9:42 Wednesday morning. Quentin Simon's mom told 911 her little boy was gone. I do keep hearing a trash truck though. Then I keep hearing the trash truck. It's almost that's one thing I can't get rid of is the twisting of the trash bag, and um, so then I'm like, well, is he in the trash? Okay. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I do hear landfill could be the only tonight. A heartbreaking search underway in Georgia for a missing toddler. Police are sifting through trash at a landfill for the remains of 20 month old Quentin Simon. And I felt like he was going to be found that was earlier in the day. Three year old boy found alive and in good health. And I said, like, with three within three miles, but I'm not seeing him being hurt and I'm not seeing someone coming up and getting him. And I said, Were you alone? Yes. The main two things I keep getting is the wooded area and the shed. Well, to take cover in that shed. Late into the night to find. I see him running to the woods. Oh, I keep getting a repeated image of him running to the woods. Okay. So maybe he decided he wanted to go play and then he kind of got lost in the woods. Be within two miles. I keep getting that. Getting a reference to the edge of the woods. And so he's still alive because I'm not using him to get this information. Right. Around in the woods, like I can't, I can't find my way out. I like I'm stuck. Like, in a, and I said he's in a bush. Okay. Uh, I went across a, a field um, of grass. I came up on some woods. Sure enough, I went in the woods and about a hundred feet from where I was at, he was. I think he was in some stickers. There's a lot of stickers and all there. Tonight in our missing series, a case that we have heard a lot about from our viewers. She wants, he wants to take me down the road to another, to like a neighbor's house or something, like another farm. I also hear neighbor. He said he knows this guy. He knows him. And he's a neighbor. I don't know what the friends come in. Respect. 58-year-old James Brenner, who also happens to be Dylan's closest neighbor in the remote desert area of Lucen. Hi guys and welcome back to the Psychic Sleuth. So, um, this case has been bugging me for a couple of days now and so I have to work it. I don't care how much information is out there, whatever you guys know, I don't research. I have tried to stay away from everything. Um, actually the day that they were found, I was planning on working it that evening. We were going to actually do, I was going to do like a real quick card thing and we were going to work the mediumship, but I kept telling Lizzie like, we need to hurry. We need to hurry because I felt like they were going to be found. Um, you know, and then I already knew how they how, kind of sort of what had happened that a oh, weapon was involved and a pew pew was involved. And I had told Daniel that or somebody that sends me information on stuff. And um, 
So I sent him that and then he sent it back. So that will, I will always tell you guys if I already know things, but unfortunately I understand that there's things out there and there is a few things that I know, but this is not about anything else other than I need to get her voice out because Savannah, I don't know if she's just very strong or what, but she's been bugging me the same way that Rachel bugged me the same way that Idaho 4 bugged me the same way that I have to do something or say something or it will bug me. So, um, plus, you know, we don't know who, which I want to try to tread carefully with that, um, from the feels of this. And I've tried to stay away from everything I can. As you guys know, I've had a lot going on in my life. I've had an animal pass away. I've had to take another one to the vet. So, I haven't really been around um, to look at things anyways. So, again, I've tried to keep my distance. And so please don't comment about, oh, this was out, that was out. Because factual things will come through. I will never say anything unless I see it or sense it or get it. Then I will say it. If I'm seeing it in my head, if I'm feeling it, if I hear it, I'll say it. Even if it's out, just know spirit always validates with factual information anyways. It doesn't mean that I know it. Um, and if I know it, I'll tell you I know it. Uh, I don't know a lot about it. Lizzie will come on and she'll tell you. She hasn't told me anything. I told her not to. Um, and anybody that sent me any links, I also haven't opened them and looked at them. And, and I don't, I'm trying to stay away from it. So please don't send me anything until after the reading. Um, I don't like to know information. But, she, you know, she was sent to me by a, a couple people sent her to me when she went missing. It was Christmas Day, unfortunately. I, was, I wasn't home. I, I couldn't get in a space where I needed to do it. I did see someone waving a gun around. Um, in a vehicle or pew pew, whatever you're allowed to say, um, in a vehicle, and then that's where the vision stopped. Um, and I was like, man, I need to work this. Unfortunately, with the holidays, with everything with my animals, I didn't get to it in time. That doesn't mean that she doesn't want her voice heard. That doesn't mean that there's not things that need to come out that maybe this the public doesn't know, but she wants to say that will validate things or just her voice or just her talking about what she wants to talk about. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, so any negative, any negative comments about, oh, that was out, oh, this was out, oh, we will just delete them. Because it's not about anybody else. It's about voices for victims. And this is her voice, and she won't leave me alone. So <laughs> that's the kind of personality she is anyways. I feel like she's strong. I hope this is going to be a strong reading. It, it's kind of um, hasn't been that long. I usually like to wait a week, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know when they went missing. Um, I think it's been maybe a little less than a week. So I kind of like to give it as much time as I can. But at the same time, it's like when something's bugging me, it's bugging me. And I won't, it'll drive me crazy. You guys have no idea what goes on in my mind. So, um, with that being said, um, I'm going to tell you that all the ways to support me are down below. My link tree is down there. That's the easiest way you can get to a lot of different things. Um, so you can click the link tree. My book is there. My merchandise is there. My booking link is there. Um, all the ways to support me are in that link, but also it's in the description box. Because I get a lot of people asking me, like, how do you book? And that's, it's all there. Um, what else am I going to say? Okay, so I think that's it for that. I'm going to just describe how I work for people that are new to knowing how I work and to watching me because I always do. I'd also let spirit know that I'm ready to work. So information that comes in can be past, present, or future. It can be symbolic. and It's not always literal in the way that I see it. it can, things can also have multiple meanings. I know this is a lot with numbers and whatnot. Numbers and months, they can have multiple meanings. Spirit will use my references, experiences, like how I relate to things to try to explain what they're wanting to say. So again, it's not always literal, but they'll use things that I can understand to try to explain it to me. So it is a telepathic communication between spirit and I. So they will show me visions and symbols. Sometimes they talk, but mostly it's vision, symbols, feelings, things like that. And I have to perceive that the best way that I can and translate it to you. So it's kind of like charades sometimes. But I do try to translate the best way that I can. I may oh, I may misperceive things, but I try not to. So I'm just going to tell you what I see. And sometimes I'll say it could mean this or that just to give you an idea. But I'm going to just put out what I see in hopes that it makes sense. I'm, I'm learning that the hard way because I notice if I try to figure out what it means, sometimes I'm wrong on the perception. So I'm going to try not to do that. But sometimes I do it out of habit. 
Um, so as they get information, Lizzie's going to validate uh, what she knows. Unfortunately, there's a lot out, so she'll probably be validating a lot. She's been researching. Um, so she's going to validate what she knows um, and what she doesn't know. She'll just say yes to um, because we don't know if it fits or not. So she is the person that I bounce off. It's, it, there's something about the energy of bouncing off of. So it takes the energy of me talking to her and, and communing with spirit and it creates like an energy thing. So I always, so I channel this way really well and I channel auto writing really well. I don't really channel just by myself trying to get whatever I get for some reason. This is the way that I work. So please be kind to my sitter. Please be kind to me. Please be kind to the way that I work and all of that. Um, we try to keep it high vibe here and we try to keep it about the victims. All right. Um, so whatever doesn't make sense, we'll just hang on to it. Um, so if stuff comes in, I'll feel things in my body. It's most a description of what's going on in my body. Um, cause I'm a medical medium, so I do feel passings and that can be, and that's how they start to come in as they make me feel things. Okay. So sometimes it's a description of the body. Sometimes I feel things and I'll always tell you guys what I'm feeling. And that could just be what they were feeling. And it could be at any point in their life. Sometimes that's to do with passing. Sometimes it does not. Um, keep in mind that things can come in around the case. So they can come in around the perp, around the victims, around the situation. It's not always directly just about the victim. Um, and sometimes even around about the area. But I will try to get all the information that I can. I'll get what I meant to get, plain and simple. And we may follow up with cards at the end. I'm not sure yet. It just depends how the reading goes. Sometimes I like to do that as a validation thing. Um, so I think I think that's basically all that I've gotten. I don't know everything. I'm not going to get every piece of information. Um, I'm just a, like a human connected to another vibration. That's it. Not a mystical being. I'm also not the police and I'm not meant to solve a case. I am meant to put the puzzle pieces out there and they are to be used to help bring new insights into the case. That is what this is about. No psychic medium is here to solve a case. We are not police. That is not our job. Our job is to put out the puzzle pieces because these that is how things come in in cases. It's about puzzle pieces. All right. Um, so we will put out the puzzle pieces and they have to be put together to make a fuller picture. All right. Um, so I like to put that out. This is for entertainment purposes only. And, and everyone is innocent, innocent until proven guilty. Viewer discretion is advised. And I think that's it. I'll bring on Lizzie now. I'm done rambling. Hello. There's Lizzie. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. And you guys have a Happy New Year and be safe. Yeah, See Merry you. Christmas and Happy New Year. She's been sick. Yes, I've been sick. <laughs> So I'm, I'm just going to tell you, like, what I, <laughs> I keep wanting to cough. There's something about me needing to cough because <sighs> the back of my head hurts. Um, I'm getting chest pain. I'm getting the back of my head hurting, and I, I'm having a hard time breathing. I hear execution style. So that, to me, is usually back of the head. Um or an execution type style. And I don't know where this happened at because I told Lizzie not to tell me. Um, but my head my head is killing me. But my head, my chest. My Before we got on, I kept saying, I kept feeling like I need to cough. There's some reason that that's coming in. Um, and keep in mind, she was pregnant, so I may also feel those symptoms because I was getting crampy at some point before, before we hopped on here. Um... And I've had well, a baby are, before. I recognize that. You are right with that. That um, just came out a few hours ago. Um, an aunt had released stuff. And uh, she and did say. Off, so I didn't see it. What did you say? I said I've been working, so I didn't see it. No, I just saw it. Like, it just came out. Like, I was researching, and I had just saw it like literally a few like while you were talking um i was uh looking up some stuff and um it, her aunt had said that um there was a gunshot to the back of the head and it mentioned execution style so i just saw that okay. now. sorry 
but there's something still with my chest area um so i don't know i don't know what that is i feel like it could be if um uh, i keep on wanting to cough so sometimes that's heart uh heart or lungs and again this could be i don't know what this is okay could have to do with the baby even depending on if oxygen supply was shut off to the baby it could cause the breathing or heart things so i could even be picking up on the baby because it's still a soul So where does the 24th come in? Were they were she supposed to be induced the 24th? 22nd. Okay. How old are they? I don't know why I'm getting 24. 24 is pretty coming in pretty strong. Um, um Savannah is 18. And I don't know how old Matthew is. Let's just hang on that. to that number. There's something about the 24th. Um, oh, crap. My shoulder hurts. Well, like the back right here. Like the back of my shoulder. I just got like a sharp pain right there for some reason. Matthew is 22. Matthew is 22. Okay. I don't know where the 24 is coming in at. Well, let's just hang on to it. Okay. Um. I get a sharp pain in my shoulder. Okay. So I like to try to go into, she just jumped right in there with that because of how she's, what's coming in and how I'm feeling. <coughs> I literally feel like, I like, there's something with the breathing. I don't know what it is. Like I said, it could be the baby, but there's something like with breathing or heart or something like that. Um, So she comes across as very tough, like a very, like, tough person. And she says, I had to be. So I don't know, like, what her situation was growing up, if she had to always be tough in some way, shape, or form. She says, on the streets. So I don't know if that means, like, tough on the streets is the way that I'm taking it, like, um, because of where she lived or, you know, the area she lived in. Okay. Um, okay. But it's like she had to be, like, tough on the streets. And I feel like she was raised around a certain environment where, um, I don't know. She just comes in as, like, and that could just be where she lives. Like, it, it might be, like, kind of, like, a, a more ghetto, more high crime kind of place is, like, the way it kind of comes in, you know? Okay. Um, and I, she says she was attracted to the bad boys. Like, they weren't always good for her um because she herself was like like i feel like she was trying to shift up her personality I, this this is almost like this is coming in like before baby or before pregnancy like she comes across as maybe um like she was more into um what's the word i'm looking for um like in her lifestyle, like just like maybe being around rough people or being around rough situations, like that kind of thing at some point. But I feel like this push and pull with her and her boyfriend, which is weird. Matthew came in Idaho for, by the way. Um, I remember. Remember that came in because I was like, what the heck is that? But um I feel like this kind of, I don't know, like this push and pull energy, like almost like oil and water, or like they knew how to push each other's buttons, but at the same time, I feel like he was sort of like rough around the edges, maybe even a little manipulative at times. And I don't know if she was like there and then she left and then she came back for some reason. Cause it's almost like I leave sweet talk come back um and then she got pregnant or something like that like that's kind of how like she's showing me her relationship 
and she goes like this like she does like up and down like it was like an up and down kind of really rocky sort of relationship like you're right um, with that you're right with that and i don't know if she like like jagged rocks <laughs> um so i don't know if I feel like he was really rough to her and i feel like sometimes she tried to fight back but it's almost like a control thing i get like he was pretty controlling and also about like something about his lifestyle is i know he was like into bad things okay so i'll just say that but i'm gonna say it because it's coming in anyways like something about like his lifestyle i don't know if that meant like he's into paraphernalia and like you know he drinks and like he does it himself because i get like this so much like change in personality like it's like he's never like he's one person then he's another person like sometimes he's really good sometimes he's not it's almost like i'm getting the reference to how my husband was like when he was using it on stuff like i don't know if he used or not but there's a lot of times when people deal with that they do sorry cat um but it's like this get like all over the place with his personality okay that makes sense that it's makes almost sense. like a like i manipulate you i mean to you and then i love on your back kind of thing like it's like a push and pull a uh, very kind of toxic sort of relationship and i kind of feel like there was times and this is kind of coming through the other day there was times where maybe she thought there was going to be some sort of change either she was there was some sort of alternative put in, put in place so either she was going to leave with the baby or he was going to change and get out of the lifestyle or there's something like that because i don't i feel like she was so excited about this baby that she didn't want to um like she didn't want him in like a bad situation you know what i mean like she didn't want him around dangerous people and dangerous things okay yeah, they, um, the mom said that she was very excited about um, the baby coming and being a mother. So that makes sense. And um, there was an incident this last Christmas where um, there was an assault that an ambulance had to be called and there was a protective order in place. Was there, was there, do you know if there were stairs involved at all? Yes, yes. Okay, because I was getting that when I was doing the card reading that I have to redo because I, but I was seeing like her being like fall, like being thrown downstairs or, or stairs being involved in the, okay. It's almost like he couldn't hold his temper. Um, and I feel like she tried to, she wanted to change him or she kept thinking he was going to change or she kept thinking he was going to do better. And she thought that by having the baby like, that would help change things. So I don't know if he was trying to get out of the lifestyle or she was saying like they needed to focus on their baby and not be involved in this anymore. Cause that kind of comes across too. Very, very well could be. And you, you are right with um, being involved in things because um, I have seen uh, stuff from one of his profiles um, with MJ and um, some different types of, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, like. Uh, well, she's showing when he's sold. He's sold. Because yes. um, I yeah. get, like, you know, like when people, okay, you see in the movies where they're on the streets and they like hand people off something and then they like really like sly. Like I'm seeing mm -hmm. that. Like, like the slide of the hand kind of. Yep. I don't know if they it, actually did it on, they don't really do it on the street corner anymore, right? With all the social media and stuff, but I keep getting referenced to like a movie, like, you know. You how they reference it to you. Right? Yeah, his mom, yeah. Uh, Matthew's mom even um, had made a post saying like how he made his money, like didn't directly say it, but said, you know, with the way that he made money. So I think it was known. Now, I don't know what he's done personally. I know MJ, I did see some pictures of use of that. I don't know about use of other things or anything like that, but I do know there was. It might have been, it could have been even earlier in his life. It could have been even earlier. I could be picking up things like along the whole relationship, you know, past where mm -hmm. it could be at any point. Um, not saying like he was using, but it's still like I get like this. He 
change in personality a lot. So I don't know if it's like a mental illness or if it's just I'm a hardcore, like this is how I am. Like I feel like things had to be his way. And if she mouthed off, like there's just like, it's just toxic. It's just like oil and water, like, you know, push and pull, that kind of like feeling. Um, but it's like at the same time, she couldn't get a away. So I don't know if it's because he would be like, I'm going to change. Don't worry. You know how they are. I'm going to change. And then, you know, she comes back and she's young, you yeah. know, and now she, yeah. she's, you know, she's having a baby with him. And so it's almost like, I feel obligated to like stick around at this point. But I think there's something, I think there was something like, I don't know. I keep feeling like I see him packing bags and stuff. So I wonder if they were trying to leave or run or go somewhere. Um, because what kept coming in my card reading that I want to redo because I just don't like it, but um, was money. And I'm getting dollar signs now, so I don't know if, like, he screwed over the wrong person money or there's money involved somewhere because I hear rivalry as well. Um, and I'm getting, like, organized crime. So it's almost like, and I'm getting a change of hands with money. So I don't know if someone was paid to do this. Um, allegedly, um, because it's, it's almost like I see one guy paying another guy. Okay. Um, and I don't know if, I don't think the bags are like going to the hospital bags. It's more like, I feel like I'm running or I'm moving or I'm leaving or there's plans too, because okay. I feel like he, the way that she shows it to me symbolically is he's looking over his shoulder all the time. So he did something he wasn't supposed to do. So I don't know if he stole, if he stole product, if he stole money, if he stole something, he really ticked somebody off. You know, but I get like, a, there's like a rival. I hear the word rival. So I don't know if there's someone that, like, I could take that as like, he took someone off. Um... There's something about a fight that's coming in. I feel like I'm being punched in the face. Oh, I just heard um, the words courtroom brawl. Does he was he in court for something? Um okay, so her brother uh, had passed away. It was murdered for stealing, it was a, stealing it, stuff it was of somebody. A and they were in court and her family, I guess the um can the person who was convicted uh, had said something to the family and there was a courtroom brawl with that person. Cause I I do want to keep kind of going back to like the thing that because I kind of knew that about the um the brother and I kind of want to go back to like there's like a it's almost like a rivalry with whoever he's in with or something um Now, I you did he's... say a fight in October. Yeah. Now, this was a post from some girl um, that was on TikTok poorly um, about uh, Savannah and him and had mentioned how in uh, around October, there was, I guess, a fight with Savannah's boyfriend and her boyfriend. And I think maybe her, the, the two girls may have had an argument over that. So I don't know if there was like a physical fight or if it was social media fight, but there, there were comments of hers that were reposted. That was not in a nice way.
I don't know. I mean, it could the fight could be at any point, you know? I mean, we don't even know, like, if he had a fight with, like, his own people or something, mm-hmm. you know? Or it could be that courtroom like, thing you're picking up on, too, you know? But I just no wanted to let you know when you said a fight was coming in that there was talks of something happening the last couple of months with somebody. It feels like there was uh, two different situations. Might okay. have been many situations for those people. Like it's almost like he liked to tip people off. He's good at tipping people off. There's something about like money though around this. I wonder if like he took money to like run or something. Cause it's almost like I feel like because she keeps showing me like packing suitcases. Like maybe they had a plan to like leave. Maybe he knew he was in trouble. Cause I keep getting the Symbolism of like looking over your shoulder. And if you're walking and you're looking over, like you know somebody, you know, you, you're worried something's going to happen because you you know you've done something. You know what I mean? Like you're like, whatever you've done is going to catch up with you. That's the feeling that I get. Okay. Um, because I get the word rival really big. So I take that as like someone wasn't getting along with him. I feel like I got a cough still. I don't understand what that's about. And it's almost like two, like this was like. Like, I keep getting the reference to, I don't know if any of you guys remember that case where it happened a little while ago, um, where there was, like, this family, and I think they sold two, and they had somebody come in and, like, shoot them all up, and there was a, a woman with her kid, and they were running, but they didn't care if they shot the woman and the, in you know, the kid, like, they didn't care. Like, it was, like, it's, like, that kind of situation, like, it's, like, a lesson or a... Okay. Um, here's a message. Here's a message. You know, we'll go after whoever. Like, we don't care. And I think they took it as like, um, he did this. She's a, she's as much to blame as he is for whatever reason. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I I don't really know like. The, the intricate workings of how organized crime works, but it definitely feels, and I pulled the organized crime card. The only reason I'm not releasing that is because I think I misperceived like the cards and stuff wrong. And I wanted to do this first to see if I did or not. But um, I did pull the organized crime card in that reading. So And I also pulled the murder for hire card. So that's kind of interesting. That came in because I'm getting like the like switching of hands, like changing of hands money. Like it's almost like the person didn't want to get their own hands dirty or be tied to it. So they send somebody else. Okay. But I feel like because they always show me that flashbang. Like I don't know if it was more than once. But I get like two flashbangs. Um, do you know like this was in the morning, right? But. Well, here's the thing. She was supposed to be at the hospital to get induced. She was over her due date. Um, the mother had spoken to her earlier. The last time anybody had seen her or spoken to her was like early afternoon. I think like the neighbors saw them getting in the car around 11, but I think the mother might have talked to her around two or something like that. Because I don't understand why I keep feeling like it's dark, unless it's just to show me the flash of the muzzle. Like, I don't understand that. Well, I mean, they don't know. I, I mean, they don't know, like, the time or anything like that wasn't released. I do know she was supposed to be at the hospital at 6, so I, I don't know. Does it so get maybe dark they're saying like, like it around was, 5? Yeah, it gets dark here around, like, 5, and we didn't change time. So, I mean, that could be why she's trying to show me, like, time of day, you know? Maybe it happened on, her, like I, on their way to the 
Well, it's possible. almost like I feel like I am. Um, that's what I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if they were followed or if someone like got in the car. Because it's almost like. Because I feel like it happened in the car. That's something that I've always gotten when I started trying to get visions on this. I kept seeing him in a car. I kept seeing someone like waving a gun. I didn't know who it was. It's almost like I'm threatening you with this gun kind of thing, or I'm pissed off, or I'm angry like that. Like it can be symbolic, but you know. Um, but a more professional person would have picked up shells, and I don't think they were. You know what I mean? Like if it was like a professional hit that did this a lot, they would have picked up the shells. Yeah. Because I get the reference to like movies where they show like professionals and then they pick up the shell. So there's something about maybe he, they're trying to tell me that they weren't picked up, that they were in the car and he didn't pick them up. So that's it's an evidence thing, I guess. But um, so I'm thinking he, the way that this is coming across, if I'm perceiving this correctly, it's almost like I get I get two I get two people. It's almost like a driver, and um. It's almost like the person that wanted us done, like, knew both of them or something, though. Like, there's still, like, that familiarity with both of them. But this, I'm telling you, this has to do with money or, like, the money comes in big around this, even when I did the cards. It's, like, money. I don't know. Um, but it's almost like I feel like I'm being followed and then I'm caught at a vulnerable moment. Because it's like, I keep getting the reference to, I can't breathe all of a sudden, um, like two people in a car. It's like, we have a driver and then we have someone get out. The way that it comes across is, if I'm understanding this right, because remember, visions are kind of fuzzy. Like It's not like clear, like I'm watching a movie. It's fuzzy. But the way that it's coming across is, it's like, I, the driver pulls up behind Pulls up behind the vehicle. One person gets out, slides into the back of the car. Because at first I wanted to say, like, someone just fired into the car, but I feel like it's the back of my head. So that would mean they would have to be sitting behind them execution style. And I don't feel like they were placed in the car. I feel like it happened in the car. Like, that's something I, because they keep showing me shell gun, shell casings in the car. Does that make sense? It does. Um, it does make sense, especially from what was just said that it was um, the execution, execution style. Is now that is not from the medical that. examiner. That is from a family member. Um, right. But you saying somebody in the back seat um, allegedly she was holding the car seat. So maybe they made room in the back being you're getting two. I mean, wouldn't that... Yeah, but that's alleged. I don't want to go by anything that's like, because we know rumors. Yeah. Yeah, true. We know yeah. rumors. Because execution to me is always in the back of the head, so they would have had them behind them at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually with these, with these, because I've done readings in the past for family members from this kind of violence and usually someone walks up and fires into the car or hits them before they get into the car. But I don't, it doesn't come across like they're shot somewhere or drove there and dropped. Like it doesn't come across that way. Okay. It comes across the shell kind of shell gun or the shells are in the car that it happened in the car. Like I keep getting reference to the shells because I keep questioning like where they, it happened somewhere else, and then where they drove there and dropped, you know what I mean? Because someone could have mm. done that. But it's mm. almost like I'm followed. Like, they knew they were going there for some reason. Like, I'm watching, watching, and watching. Um, I'm waiting for my balls to go off. Yeah, you can totally touch the balls here. Um...
It's almost like there's a driver and a shooter. Because it was weird when I was doing the cards at first, I was thinking there was two people. I keep seeing two people, but I don't know. I don't know if it's right. Because I keep seeing African American, so I don't know if it's like that would be a rival game because they're they're Hispanic, so. Okay. I just wonder if I don't know what this I don't hmm. I keep trying to see other guys and I keep seeing these guys I don't know if African American makes sense with the situation I know that's usually a rival thing. You know? I don't know much about, I don't you know, know. games. Uh, well, I only stuff. know because my, you know, my husband in the, in the prison system, how they're, you know, it's all racial. Okay. It's always like Hispanics against the African Americans against the whites. You know, it's always split up like that but okay. like i i keep trying to see like a a hispanic person and keep seeing two like african-american dudes i was even seeing them the other night they're the same guys i've been seeing but i'm questioning it <laughs> of course i'm questioning it um I feel like they were paid though. That's why. Maybe that. Maybe they're not. Or there's money involved. So either it had something to do with him and the money, or someone paid somebody off so that they didn't think they'd be attached to it. You know. Mhm. Mm so it could very well be that they were, they paid these people. Because I keep seeing. I'll just. I'll just tell you guys what I'm seeing because it's. It's. It won't go away. Um. Protect me. Um, <laughs> Send some of that over here. Oh, God. Okay. I don't like to work these kind of cases because of that, but she won't leave me alone. So I keep getting a guy with, like, I don't know, they're like braids, but they, I don't know if they're braids or dreads. I don't know the difference in a vision, but they're kind of like, they're not long, they aren't super long. Um, and then the other guy is more like a short, like, fade, like a, to the, like, shorter fade, you know? Um, he, I can't tell because he might be lighter, so I can't tell if he's Hispanic or, he's like a light, like a lighter, you know what I mean? Like a lighter version, <laughs> version. <laughs> That's probably not the right word to say, I don't know, I'm sorry. I don't know how else to explain it. His um, complexion is on the lighter side. On the lighter, lighter version. I don't know. The other one's darker, but and has like a wider, pointier nose, and like, um, I I see him the strongest, but I don't. I don't know, names can be connections or whatever, but I get like a Ty or a Tyrell. I hate this. Like, I hear that name over and over, so I don't, I don't know. I also get the name Brandon. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to see. I wonder, like, where where they were found at, was it more, like, kind of, like, secluded? Kind of, like, you know how sometimes in parking lots, like, there's one area that's, like, not really out there? You know what I mean? Like, the end of the parking lot or a more 
It seemed like it was like the back area. I mean, I'm not familiar with that area, but it seemed like you went around the back of the apartments were here and their car was like pulled in sideways. Not sideways, but not right into like a, a yeah, because it's almost parking. like it's almost like they were pulled over or something. You know, like they're followed and pulled over. I don't know. This this comes across as like planned. Like but it's almost like, "Hey babe, cuz I pulled him up. I want to I want to look at him too." But it's almost like I hear him say, "Hey babe, I got to go do this real quick." So I wonder if he was he was like meeting someone and it went wrong cuz maybe it wasn't who he thought he was meeting or it was a, like a setup cuz it's a rival, right? So if say you pay somebody to do something, how else are you going to get them alone and vulnerable? That's the way that it kind of comes across. Like, they need to get them alone and vulnerable, and how else are they going to do that? They're yeah. going to set up a deal. They're going to yeah. set up a, a way to meet them, a way to get in the car. If maybe the person gets in the car, I mean, because, I, like I said, I feel like she shot the execution cell. Somebody was in the back seat, shot her that way. Yeah, it makes sense because she was. And I don't. Found I'm mostly getting where she, where she was. I'm mostly getting where she was. I'm not really getting where he was, but they're both shot in the back of the head. So, regardless, for some reason, there's a block on how he got there. Either he was getting out to go to the back to, like, talk to the person, or they wanted to try to make it look like something else. So they moved him. Like. Okay. That is kind of a feeling because I feel like from the cards I did, like there was a cover up or like a, um, like a staging, like a, it's almost like maybe there was a staging of it. Um, but I, f I keep getting like, I keep getting two, like two guys. I hear guys voices like, come on, dude, we gotta go. We gotta go like that kind of thing. But, um, so I don't know if this guy like normally went into this parking lot to like, do deals like it, it feels like this is a place where like they went to do deals maybe maybe it's that kind of ghetto place but i wonder if there's not going to be like something on the phone okay okay you know like i'm sure he has a phone that he uses for his stuff you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they might be able to trace that because there might be something on there um but I feel like she was all into like the bad boy lifestyle and stuff like that. Like at least prior to getting pregnant. Like I don't know why she loved like she she really did love the guy, even though he put her through hell. It's almost like a trauma bond. Okay. Or uh I don't know. I don't know if that's what you would call a trauma bond. What would you call that? Um She was dependent on him, or she couldn't. No matter what he did, it was like she'd always take him back. Like, because the fall down the stairs or the push down the stairs was really, excuse me, was really like it was bad. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I think there was even like a kick after the push down the steps. Uh, maybe like a few moments of unconsciousness, and they did have to call an ambulance. For her. She had to go to the hospital for that one. And I feel like he would grab her a lot in the arm and stuff. Like he was rough with her and but I, allegedly the neighbors saw him um put hands on her a lot and yell. And I guess even the night before this happened, they heard her screaming. And then they saw them leaving the next day together. But that's per neighbors. I mean, it's almost like you would think if it's obviously not to protect her because they wouldn't take her out too. So um, it's almost like, like this is a this is a setup. They 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 knew 
they planned it they set it up this is a hit that's the way it comes across as a hit of some kind because i get the money switching hands when i get the money switching hands and someone's paid to do it or they made money off it somehow it can also mean that you know money surrounds the situation okay okay but i just wonder if he didn't owe somebody Because, too, like, also, if you're going to pay somebody to do something like this, you're not going to pay anybody that they would know so that they could set it up and do it that way. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. you wouldn't go do it yourself because you they know you. It's almost like they're trying to say, like, they know the person, but maybe not the people that did this. Like, I don't know. It just comes across as, like, I get, like, the organized crime, like, the shit they do. I mean, but there is a rivalry. There is a rivalry, so I don't really know what that rivalry is. Spirit might protect me from saying something, so I'm, I might not get everything Yeah. in regards yeah. to this, because when it comes to certain situations, they won't show me things for my own protection, so do keep that in mind. Um, like, they could probably show me a lot of shit, but they, they won't for my own protection. My ear hurts. All of a sudden, like this ear. I've got him pulled up now, too, so... Um, I just keep wanting to cough. That's the weirdest thing. Because, I mean, an instant with something like this. Unless it has something to do with, like, the person involved. Or I'm picking up on you. <laughs> you could be picking up on me. I've been very sick, as you can tell. It's starting to go away, though. Um, so. My phone is dying. I'm not going to have their picture unless I go get my charger. It's like I don't know how much they're going to show me. I do see, like, graffiti. I see graffiti letters or something like that. Oh, stop. Um, somebody actually put in uh, graffiti letters justice for Savannah. Oh, really? Because they look like bubble letters. Like, yep. you know, the bubble yep. graffiti letters. Mm -hmm. Okay. On, on a side of a building. I don't know what building it is, but it, it is. Um, it is. Um, like bubble okay. letters, graffiti. I was like, why am I seeing graffiti? <laughs> like in bubble letters, like, you know, the little, the cute little bubble letters. I don't know, that's what I keep seeing. And that there's a lot of pink. Um, pink and blue or something. I think the blue's for her. Was she, out? she was having a boy, right? Cause yes, the, the writing is in blue, the but the family just but, made buttons that were all pink. Okay. So the blue is probably for the baby. That's because she kept referencing the blue and the baby. Because when I was doing the cards, I kept getting a blue, like for boy. Mm -hmm. um, and then she was referencing the blue again. So that must be why the graffiti. Like they're trying to validate because I'm like, you need to show me stuff to validate stuff. But um, I mean, I think this is going to be solved. I think they're going to, these people probably thought that they were pretty smart in the way that they did it. I'm, I'm seeing. Um, and I think there might be a past with these guys. Like they've, they've got, um, hold on one second. Um, they've got like records or something. There's something with like records, but I'm seeing like mug shots. I'm seeing, there's got to be like two people involved because I'm. It's almost like one's a driver and one's a shooter. Um, that's one thing that's coming in really strong, but I get a reference because I'm getting, and I'm also getting a reference to like two, two, um, mug shots. Okay. Okay. And they're spelling out solved for me. So they basically saying, and I think if they get cornered, there's going to be one that confesses or they're going to roll on the other. Like there's going to be a rolling. But there might be even more involved, like there might be people behind it or someone behind this. But I don't know if they'll tell them that person because they might be scared. 
I don't know. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like the person, like, really, the one that, like, really is the one is, like, like, has pool or respect or, like, you don't, you don't go against him. But there's going to be a rolling and they're going to try to play him against one another or something like that. That's how that comes across. There's a reference to six months, so I don't know. That could be solved within six months' time. I think it'll be solved before that, but that could be, like, I don't know. Um, the T comes in pretty strong. For some reason. I don't know. Usually if I see African Americans, that's usually what's involved because I saw it with the serial killer in up north. I saw it again with the, the girl that was kidnapped off the road. I saw he was African American. So I'm questioning it because I keep getting like Hispanic around it too, but I just wonder if maybe that that's the person that hired. I don't know. It feels like there's more to this than we realize like it might be like a tangled type web um but money is definitely a motive here i think um that and there's a rivalry if they don't like you you're nothing but a b so i keep hearing but Because this is something, if we look at it, unless they're trying to sort of make it look like something it's not. Usually, or organized crime, this is how they do it. Execution style. It sends a message. Yeah. That's their MO. That's usually organized crime's MO. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But I hear the words, like, caught off guard. So... I feel like maybe they weren't expecting this. Like, again, it was set up. They were meeting somebody possibly because I feel like there's a reason they're kind of hidden wherever they pull into. And it wasn't far from the house. So even though they're by the medical plaza, it could be like, we're doing this first. They could have even went home, finished getting the stuff, and then come back. Like, you know, it's not like it's a really long drive. Like, my dog was three miles away. Like, it's not that far. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes me just wonder if this is like a meeting spot of his. I hear wheeling and dealing. So I don't know. <laughs> that's not my that's not my lingo. Um yeah. but I pulled him up too. So I pulled up him too, so I could expect to get that. It's like he's talking about like he put himself in the lifestyle and he put her in harm's way. And but at the same time, like she knew she was in harm's way, but I feel like again there was gonna be some sort of change or shift because of the baby. Like, either they were planning on making different, like, making their lives different because it's almost like she's coming, like, I'm going to be a mom now. I've got to make a better life for my child type thing. Like, I feel like she wanted to keep the baby out of danger, you know. So, there might have been, again, like, an ultimatum or something like that. Or they were taking money and running because I keep getting, like, he's running and I don't know who he's running from. Is he running from the cops? Is he running from, probably running from the cops and probably running from, you know, his whoever is after him because i feel like he's looking over his shoulder all the time that comes in really strong like he knew somebody was after him i just don't think he expected it in this way yeah yeah you know um Like this, it, it was planned by the people, but it was unexpected in regards to them. Um, and I feel like she's like, I love my mom, but I feel like she talks about how she also put herself in situations. Like she shouldn't have, like she, sh I feel like sometimes like, if he had to stop off and she's with him, like, she's cool with it. 
So, okay. you know, she's talking about like she was there sometimes during the stuff. You know? Yeah. Well, I mean, she knew what or, he did. Maybe she was comfortable in that. Like, I think she did know what he did. I think she was very out there about what I think they both were out there about what they did. I don't know if there's pictures or what, but I think he made good money at it, and that's why she was happy with the comfortable lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. There was going to be a change because of the baby. Like, it comes across like, I wonder if she was going to name him after. Like, I get a name carry down. Her brother, maybe. Um, the she there it was a name she had picked out, but the brother's name was Ethan. Do you want me to tell you what she was gonna name the baby? Well, it's almost like a name carry or a mix of names or something like that. But it's for some reason I keep pulling in the brother and the baby dad, but there's there's a name carry. I know, I don't know middle name, but the first name she was naming him Fabian. Everybody's referring baby Fabian. I, now, I don't know. I wonder what the middle name was because I just keep re like thinking about her brother for some reason with that. Unless it was something she thought about or. Like, I can get first or middle. I just wonder if she was going to carry a name somewhere. I don't know. Um, there's also an R is coming in. Um, Because I was trying to see if this is something that someone that has something against both of them, or if it's just a message, it kind of comes in both ways. You know, like it's yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why she's showing me sunflowers. Um, but she showed me some flowers. I don't, I don't know why. Just hang on to that. Um, I feel like I'm being protected from a lot of stuff, like, It's almost like I keep getting like this is a, a setup. So I don't know. There's got to be evidence on a phone or something that of like a meat, but it might even be like a a burner or something like that. Um, I keep seeing two mug shots. It's like I can't see their faces that clear, but. I mean, they look African American to me. Well, there's probably a reason for it. <laughs> Quit trying. I know. Quit trying to change it. No, quit trying to, to see who it is. There's a reason yeah. why it's fuzzy. Yeah. One of them definitely has a stronger jawline, but they're very like. I keep hearing rap music really loud, like a bunch of pew pews, like. D's everywhere, like, oh, that's telling me, like, lifestyle, you know? It was almost like there's someone more, like, bigger behind it. I, don't, I can't shake that kind of feeling. Like, And I don't know if that bigger person will ever be caught, but it's almost like that. He also get turf. There's something about a turf thing. Was he encroaching on someone else's turf, or... I don't know. I hear turf. I don't know why I get the color red.
like if it's like a, a game color or something. Hmm. Um, that's also symbolism to me, though, for that type of thing. Sometimes yeah. I get like, yeah, it's either red or blue. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what the they are out there. Also, the color orange comes in too. That's kind of weird. I don't know if there's any colors like that. Um, Hmm. I wonder if she she's showing me like where the place she had set up for the baby, like the baby's room. Okay. It's like blue, and I get a reference to like stars, and she's showing me like the cr like the crib, or I don't know why she showed me that. I could just be like, you know, I had everything ready and set and all that. Like she was prepared, and it was like one last thing, like make make a little bit more money, kind of thing before she had the baby. You know? Yeah. Well, but again, the nursery like was, was all set. You're you're right with that. Her mom said she was like excited. The nursery was all like she had a nursery for the baby and stuff like that. So I just right. wonder if it was like like I keep getting blue, like the walls blue, and there's a reference to stars. So I don't know. She could just be showing for validation. I just I don't know if we'll ever validate that, but um. Like, she kind of, like, they both kind of take responsibility for, like, putting themselves in this type of dangerous lifestyle. Um, because this is a dangerous lifestyle. Like, you never know what anybody's going to do. Like, people are shady. So, it's almost like she, um, she's admitting that. Or, you know, it's almost like you played with fire, you get burned. Like, that kind of feeling. Is what okay. she's saying. Like she, okay. she's okay with saying that because I feel like um, sometimes we get blinded by money and love and that kind of thing, and and that's kind of what it feels like. As like she was in this kind of situation, it's like I'm, I can have what I want, and you know, regardless of what he did, I don't. It's almost like he, I don't know, he love bombed her back or something. Like he apologized and pretend like he was never going to do it again, and she really thought he changed. Okay. But there's also a reference. So I don't know if she was pregnant right before or after. Like, like that that timing is kind of weird because she keeps showing me the baby around it. Um, she says she has her she had her reasons. Hey, I'm not judgy. My my husband was not perfect by any means. Um, you love who you love sometimes, and sometimes you know just. I don't know what it is about those bad boys. Um, but I don't know if they met, like, like she met him when she was still in high school or what that reference is. Because they know he's older, so I wonder if she was still in high school, like 16, 17. And he's, like, this older guy that is, like, I don't know, I keep getting reference to, like, he's hanging around parties or something. And that's how she meets him. Like, okay. on the like, um, I don't know why she's showing me that, but again, she always knew what he did. I don't know. I guess to her, she found it sexy or something. I don't know. And she realizes now, like, I guess he, because, okay, so just from kind of what I know in my own like experiences and it's kind of coming in like I don't know how to explain this um like when you're you're with a guy that's like into the organized crime and stuff like that like they're just mean to their biatches like like it okay. goes with it okay. you know like that's the best way I can explain it in the way that like, she kind of looked at it, you know? 
and he yeah. might have made her yeah. believe that i don't know but you know it's like your biatches stand in line you know or get in line say that kind of thing Libby, okay. do not go on the computer um i don't know why she like, like i'm across the computer is so weird Oh. We're still on, right? Dang it, Libby. I don't know about this cat. Um, she's in your tree. In your tree. I know that she's eating it. They always jump on the um keyboard. It's so dumb. Um, I get that song, Hickory Dickory Dock. So when I get that, it usually means there's something with time. Hmm. I don't know why they use that, but it, but I haven't got it in a while. But usually whenever I get that nursery rhyme, it has something to do with time, like the time frame or the timing of something, you know? Okay. I mean, I don't know how much I got. I'm not really getting much else. Um, I think I want to pull cards and see if it, like, we can get any more off the cards, because sometimes we can, or it will validate, or whatever the reading. So, um, all right, so we pulled some cards for a little bit of extra information. Again, I may perceive and may not perceive things right. If I get any extra information, I will let you guys know. Um, this is the way that I do it, so... I do it as a form of validation for the reading itself. Hold on, Violet. So, all right. So we got firearm. Oh wait, I need to turn on my other camera. Is it gonna let me? What was he little for a second? <laughs> That's okay. All right. Okay. So we got the firearm card, which we know is there's a firearm involved. All right. We got the imprisonment card, meaning I feel like, you know, they're trapped in the car. They can't go anywhere. If someone's, and that goes along with the kidnap, like someone's got them by gunpoint. They're not going anywhere. You can take the kidnap card as, you know, when you can't go nowhere, you're basically kidnapped and trapped. All right. What's interesting is the assault card because that came in the reading, so it could relate to an assault of some sort. Um, if there was no assault done, because I feel this was like bam bam, um, like I said, execution style. And we have missing because they were missing for an appointed time, they're not missing anymore, but they were All right. And then we have another trapped card because they were trapped, they couldn't go anywhere. Um, I feel like it was very much a setup. All right, so now for who's involved, allegedly, we have the stranger card, but it's like stranger to the family. So it's kind of interesting because I, I don't really know because we got like, sometimes I take the stranger card as like, we don't really know who someone is, but we do like as a person, um, but it could be like this family didn't know them really well. Um, because we also have like assassination, which is weird because it came next to the family card, knowing just what the brother went, you know, the sibling went through. But we have the assassination card there, and we have a thief. So this is someone that like to steal, like to, you know, um, maybe have a record of some point, of some way. Um, we have royalty cards. So if there's someone maybe connected to someone that's like higher up. That kind of thing is what I get. But what's weird is these cards. I don't understand them. A uh, friend to law, a friend and law enforcement are together. So it could be someone that's a friend to law enforcement, or law enforcement may know who they are. I don't really know. But so we get we get kind of friend and stranger. So that's why it's kind of interesting. Unless there was more than one person involved, then we could have someone that you know knew, and then someone that was a stranger. But I don't know. I guess it's kind of kind of interesting because you got because I feel like in some way shape or form but it's assassination so 
if they were hired, it might not mean that they actually knew who they were, but the person that hired them might have known who they were. Something like that, I guess. These cards are weird. Um, because then we have the sibling and the terrorist. Now we know that her sibling was unalived by basically terrorists because anytime we get a negative person, we I get the terrorist card. <laughs> like someone that's hurting someone else, I get the terrorist card. Um, and then it's weird because then I get acquaintance to the father. Now I take the father as I don't know, that could be like her father, like or it could be we're talking about he's the, he was going to be a father. So it could also be that as well. All right. Um, so we have secret weapon. I can take that as like this is someone that was used as a secret weapon since we have the assassination card. Um, we have the party card. So we know that maybe they, maybe they met at a party. Maybe they knew each other from a party. Or maybe that's just like they were partying beforehand or it was a plan to party or you know that you can take paraphernalia and stuff like that people party with it right um distraction so there's a distraction going on greed greed money 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 that's what came in before i also got lies lies and evil there was evil around this case Obviously, for who's involved. We got abuse, neglect, which we know is happening with her. We have unseen danger. So this makes sense because they were going, they were going to meet somebody, but they didn't know that person was going to hurt them. So there's unseen danger there. We got the blackmail card twice. There's blackmail card. So someone was playing back blackmail in some way, shape, or form. We got exposed. There's going to be something that's going to come out that's exposed or. Um, we got staged. That came in in the reading. So there's something that was possibly staged about this. Absolutely no idea, right? That's a government card. I keep getting government law enforcement. I'm not really sure. Um, it could be, you know, lots of different reasons. I'm just going to leave that there because <coughs> we have the watch card. So they were being watched in some way, shape, or form, <coughs> in my opinion, and work. So he was in the middle of probably working when he was doing it, or they could be associated with what he does <coughs> sorry control so someone's pulling the puppet strings if you look at that that's exactly what it is puppet on a string so someone's being really controlled with that we have lord so if they're going to do a deal they're going to be set up it's considered lord fired i don't i don't know i could take that as like he was Someone was fired or not going to be doing their job anymore. Healing. There'll be healing coming from this. Um, we have rumors. There's going to be a lot of rumors that are going to be going around, obviously. Mental health. Obviously, a person that does this doesn't have good mental health. But there's, he, didn't, he didn't have good mental health either. So I take this like secret trip and travel because they were taking a secret trip to meet whoever they were going to meet prior and nobody knew about it. And then the travel, obviously, they took a car. Embezzlement. It could mean he was stealing in some way, shape, or form. Because, again, the money comes in pretty strong. Alarm. So, I don't really know what that means. Um, I don't really know. Hey. Sorry. Um, then we have DNA. So... I might find some DNA. It's going to be really hard. Um, so he was probably. There's an investigation going on, of course. Then we have manipulation. Someone's being manipulated. It could be the, the person that, um, that did this, be being manipulated by someone else. And there's some regret going on. We have a sixth sense of so someone may have thought about it. May have thought something like this was going to help, and there was a sixth sense about it. Prophecy meaning is kind of something that can't be stopped, can't be changed. It was going to happen in one, one way or another. Um, probably a soul contract of some kind. So we have killer worked in the area. So I'm just wondering about the whole turf thing. And, you know, it could be like what his maybe real job is or what, like, the area he worked. Um, 
wives lies deception and potential cover-up so again i got that there was things that were done to possibly cover up but there's going to be lies deception around it of course and you're only supposed to do three of these but if they make sense then witnesses may not be fully disclosing all of the facts so any witnesses that they have or people that they know may be hiding stuff from police oh i forgot to do the other cards do those in a second um this was kind of weird. I don't know. These are two cards, so hopefully they're accurate because I wasn't, wasn't supposed to pull these two. But it's kill, killer may currently be in prison for another crime. Now, if this was a assassination, then it could be that someone's calling the shots from behind bars, and then there's victims or victims' family was familiar with the killer, so they're familiar, and you could take familiar with the person calling the shots as well because. Without him, there wouldn't have been an assassination if that's what it was. So we have evidence and we have planet evidence. Um, another government card, government involvement. I don't know in what shape or form that is. So planned. Someone's going to jail. Someone may be in jail. If that's connected to this, but someone's going to jail. Jail's important. I saw that anyways. Um, break in. So, in a way, you could take this as yes, they were going to do a deal, but they didn't know this was going to happen. So, things aren't always literal. And then we have another blackmail card. So, some kind of blackmail money, something going on. Um, maybe, maybe he was just messing with the wrong person. And then a phone call message. There's going to be something, and that could be like he was talking to someone on the whatever app or whatever phone he was using um to do deals and so there might be something on there that's important so uh, yeah i was just i didn't know if you were done or not but when you got the trap card maybe two and I don't I know like they were like trapped in the vehicle and stuff but they set up a trap to get them there yeah to, yeah you could take and, it as that um, I mean it really does feel like that it doesn't feel like again I get the planned card so they could have easily been trapped you're right like, you could take it as that like and you know, um the break in set up. Uh, maybe it's surrounding the case because, and like I said, there are a lot of rumors. Like when you pulled that, oh, I almost flipped off this chair. When you pulled the rumors card, there is like, uh, there's so much stuff floating around, and um, some sides of the family are are speak. Well, both sides of the family are speaking on certain things, but allegedly, after his dad had went to the apartment and locked things up, he went back and actually did break in to remove some things that were in the apartment, you know? Um, yeah. Um, like pew so, I mean, it could be that, or it could be, like, if you're looking at it, like, it depends on how you look at it, but it could be that, yeah. But the 24 you found out, too. 24. So, I... Uh, as you were doing the reading, his death certificate was released. Um, and on the death, death certificate, it says December 27th, 4.24 p.m. So you have, like, basically a double 24 in there. Because 4, 4, 4.24, 42 backwards is 24, and then 24 p.m. Okay. That makes sense. And the, the numerology is, I don't know, it's... I don't know. 22 is big too because uh, that's the other one I was gonna say. Like, what was the 22 about? But numerology in cases, we always notice there's some sort of weird connection with numbers and stuff. August 22nd was her birthday. It went missing more than likely passed on the 22nd. Um, and her boyfriend is 22. Yeah, there's there's something with a like I keep getting like it was either dusk or dark or something because I get the two flashes. Um and that's what they showed me when I tried to pull cards before. Like I was trying to do it and I, I think I misperceived some cards, so I wanted to do this reading first. It was just like a preliminary thing. And um I I was like not perceiving or understanding. So I wanted to do a, this mediumship first, but I kept seeing two flashes in the dark. Like you know, 
And yeah. Um, yeah. I just wonder if there's going to be like a silencer or something, or if they just went all out and did it. I don't know. Because. And that could be like, okay, say, I know it's going around the he's in the back wall. He could have been very well moved. That could be what they mean by planning the evidence, like making it look like something different. But yeah. definitely, I was, yeah. I'm getting, you know, there's someone was in the back seat. And if I'm getting two people, it could be someone else drove there. Like, I just keep getting, like, two people for some reason. Um, but it, it could be, like, there's someone else that feels like they're pulling the strings. Okay. Like, that's why I think the assassination card came in. Like, this is an organized crime type thing, but I just wonder if it's not, like, weirdly related to the sibling thing, because I was kind of getting him a little bit. Like, it's just weird that it says, like, like, killer me the victim's family or may currently be in prison. Obviously, if he wanted something done, he's only 17, but I don't know. Those types of guys, like, they're all into time and everything. Um, I mean, this definitely, like you're saying, it was a trap. It was a setup. Like, this was, this was planned. This was, it was going to happen. He did something to tick somebody off, whether he snitched on someone, whether he, um, just ticked somebody off in the job that he was doing in another turf, something, because I get, like, a rivalry. There's some kind of rivalry there. You know, because it's getting like red, but then I was drawing with like a blue marker, and I was kind of pulled to that a little bit, like the blue, the color blue, besides okay. just her, besides just her and her baby. I wonder why they put her that justice in blue. I wonder what the colors are, because um, I don't know, but it's almost like I just feel like there's someone that was pulling the strings, but this was like, because you know how sometimes. In movies and stuff like like look at Tupac for instance. I don't know why that's coming in. Like we have Tupac that pulled the strings on. The like key just got arrested, right? But he's not the one that pulled the trigger. He hired people to do that. He had people do that, right? Yeah, his nephew. Yeah. So it's usually sometimes they don't want to get their own hands dirty because they don't want to go to jail for it. Like, it's yeah. a lesser sentence yeah. anyways, you know? Like, being behind the scenes. And they also feel like, oh, they're going to first come at me, but if I have an alibi, you know? So it's kind of like, I'm going it, to... It's almost like it comes across, like, most of the time, things like this go down. It's I just can't get away from the assassination or hit-type feeling or... I don't know. I hope that's right. I hope I'm understanding that right. But it's almost like... Again, this was a setup. This was going to happen. This was something that was planned. This was something that was like put into motion. Yeah. I feel like it was put yeah. into motion. And again, like they don't care who she was. And that's another thing that gets me with the hit. Like, I don't know if like a regular person would have would have hurt her unless it was more like an assassination or gang type thing. Okay. You know? Yeah. Because then we go yeah. back to that one case we were talking that I was talking about. Like you looked it up while we were on pause for a minute. Um, with that, that was the cartel that came in and uh, yeah, did that. yeah, because they were saying like in the article that like some gangs have like rules where like they won't hurt like women and children, but like the cartel is a different. It's very different. And that makes, it just mix. makes me wonder. If in some way, shape, or form, because when I pulled the cards the other time, I got organized crime. Like, I still want to take some of those cards. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and the way that I pulled it before, I got a lot of him in it. So, but he was, like, all about him was, like, underneath, underneath the organized crime. So, it, I think it was just connecting him to it. And I was having a hard time perceiving, like, if he was involved or he was being connected to it. You know what I mean? Like, or if yeah. it was because of him or yeah. his, what he was doing and his, kind of, like, his fault in that way. Um. So all the other cards were right except for that was because like, I still got almost this, like I got the kidnap card again. I think that assault one is interesting. Yeah. I wonder if it's like connecting yeah. the assault card or I mean the assault. But it, it's almost like I wonder if this has something to do with like a turf or. A, you know, like he ticks somebody off that like has connections or is able to like set something like this up. 
I keep getting like freaking mafia and gang movies in my head. Like, you know, they keep showing me that kind of stuff. Very sad. My thoughts and prayers go out to both families, you know? Yeah. And, and, you know, she was very, I feel like she was strong personality, but she was at times like there was, she was shyer and stuff, but I feel like she had to be strong for the relationship was in the life she was in the, where she put herself and I think looking back now she's she's not very proud of her decisions and stuff because it's almost like I lost my brother to it like why am I in this lifestyle kind of thing I wonder if she like had those thoughts as well but I also feel like in this instance they're not only blaming him but they're blaming her because she's with him or she's in the situation or she's around the money or she's you know what I mean because yeah. I feel like if he wasn't yeah. involved in some way or they didn't look at her as involved in some way then they wouldn't have done anything yeah yeah so it's almost like she's also the target like both of them are the target for whatever reason whether that be like oh she spent the money too or she has something to do with it or she knew about it you know it's like that kind of thing hi ezekiel maybe i mean because you so, said you were getting dark like maybe they did this on if she was supposed to be induced at six Maybe they figured, you know, if it was like, it might be like, like right, a trap, like, they did it on the way and they didn't expect yeah. her to be in the car. So they did what they well, had I to don't, do. But to, still, yeah. still, if she wasn't the target or they didn't look at her like she was a problem or she didn't have like, you know, they would have let her go. They would have just wore disguises and let her go. But it's almost like this is a message. Like there's a message here. Yeah. There's yeah. a, like, I think it's the message in the way it was done. I think it's a message in, unless it's like they made it look like somebody made it look like it was a gang hit. That's possible too. But I, I still keep getting like, like, and I, I would pick that up too. If like someone made it look like that, I would pick it up, but it still comes across as like, I don't, I keep pulling the royalty card. The last time I pulled the affluent card. So that makes me feel like it's someone maybe higher gang, maybe higher, maybe like, cause like you said, like cartel is one that, that doesn't care about women and children a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. So what was he into that he was ticking off? And I'd like to know how big the cartel is in that area because he might've been taken over their turf or something, or, you know, like it might've shortened their money and what they were getting. There might be something, cause there's definitely a money thing and definitely a rival thing. Okay, well, that makes sense. Like, and it's probably even maybe deeper and stuff, but like I said, like, Spirit's not going to give me all of it because they want to they wanna protect me. But I feel like I can't get over, like, I keep seeing the same guys in my head, and I just wonder if it's right because cartel isn't, well, cartels do work with, uh, I looked this up at one time. I mean, if they hired someone, I, I don't know. I don't know. Unless they're just darker skins, Hispanics. Like, they don't I see don't, them very well. I, I don't want know? to know all that stuff. Thank uh, God. I know. That, it's like, uh, thank God you're limited uh, for like, tonight. I keep getting like the, like, well, a lot of times faces are blurry to me. A lot of times they're not clear like I'm looking at you. And if they want to break down a facial feature, they'll do it like they did in Idaho for like this is with the nose, this is with the jaw, this is with the eyes, this is with the ear, you know. Yeah. I feel like yeah. um like one's a little bit lighter skinned than the other, but I keep getting reference to like like shorter like braids or dreads. Like that keeps coming in for some reason. I don't know. But there's some kind of like I said, this is and it'll I think like most of it'll come out like we never never might find out that it was a hit because the people just take the ball. Yeah. They're the minions, yeah. you know, they're the minions and they're not gonna tell. Say, oh yeah. You tell. Because you don't do that. You don't snitch. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, that may never really come out. Um, but we might see a couple people arrested or at least I keep seeing two people arrested now. I hope I'm right on that. Because I keep trying to get just like one energy, but it feels like there's two. One might be more of an accomplice, you know? Um, like one in the car, but like one driving or something like that. Like in a like an accomplice. Like so 
I notice a lot of times there's in things like this, there can be more than one person. Like, wasn't there more than one person involved in Tupac? Oh, I why that keeps coming up. Um, um it, there were the there were more than one person in the car, but I think yeah. the actual person well person. not more than one person can shoot so obviously it's not gonna be yeah. you know well actually I'm i, I think they shot the whole car up because tupac's driver was also hit should night i believe so right but i'm saying like sometimes a lot of these times like there's a partner like an accomplice like a driver and a shooter mm -hmm. you know like you get out of there quick um oh my head hurts with that um usually i'm on to something so i don't know i keep questioning the fact that it, it's weird because when i was first pulling those cards and i was kind of struggling with how do i wanted to perceive this um i also was like i get two people and i was i've seen the same guys so i kind of don't see anybody else and i'm just kind of like struggling with that a little bit um but again they're blurry so i don't know it'll be interesting to see i think it'll be solved i think it'll come out eventually like within six months, I don't know. I, I get like a within six months time frame, but I don't know if that's why they give me that for. But I mean, I think they val I think they validated a lot because I didn't know like where they were oh, shot. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know, um, you know, that someone was in the back seat. But it's almost like someone gets in the back seat and does it like that. Like it's kind of like a setup. But you're right. They were trapped. They were. It was a trap. A trap or a setup, whatever you want to call it. Planned by, the, you know, the people that did it. And I don't think he thought anything of it by taking her. Because I think maybe he's taken her before. And I don't even, doesn't even necessarily mean he knew or trusted the person. It's like he just, he lived in that lifestyle all the time. I don't think he sensed the danger. And he probably packed. But this was one, because a lot of those people do, you know, they pack. But yeah. Yeah. he wouldn't have had time to, to to pull it because it's like bam bam like i'm in bam bam that's it yeah. like, there might have been some words yeah. or something you know but um it was really quick and then things might have been shifted or changed or moved or made to sort of look good. like like they tried maybe to like confuse the cops or something there might be some of that in there yeah. um But um, I mean, she shows me her standing on the other side, like holding the baby and standing with him. He was like super tall compared to her, which is weird because when I pulled the tall card yesterday, I was like, that's odd. Because um, he is really tall. <laughs> oh, he was like 6'2 or something. Oh, wow. Wow. That's kind of just what I got. I don't know if that's right or not. Yeah, um, I didn't see it. And 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 I mean, he might have. I mean, he might have known who they were, but they were just happened to be the ones that were. Like, there's. I hear like backstabbing, like. Um. Like it's possible. They were backstabbed, and, and because they were paid money to do it, you know. But. I don't know why I block, got the blackmail card twice. So maybe he threatened someone or, you know, there's something that he did. But I don't know. The blackmail card came in twice. So he could have been trying to blackmail someone. I don't know. Okay. So I don't know. I don't think. I don't think we're going to get any more off of it, but now I can rest my head, I think. I think I can hopefully not think about it anymore. Hopefully just be done. Because, you know, unless something, like, randomly comes to me, and I'll let you guys know what it is. But um, this was just something I had to do because it wouldn't leave me alone. It was, like, eating at me. I wanted to kind of see what happened because I didn't know, like, the details. And I, I know you guys do, but, shit, my life's been so busy, I don't <laughs> I haven't had a minute, minute to like sit and even think or do anything. I don't even think I've sat on my couch for a while. So, you know, it's been, I didn't know nothing. I wasn't keeping up. 
because I knew I was going to work it anyways. So just because I had that pool. I just wish I would have got to it when she was missing because I knew I like knew that they were in the car close. Yeah. So it would have been nice yeah. to put that out there, you know. But I don't know. We'll see, I guess. One of those things. So thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And hopefully we'll see you soon. We got a lot of catching up to do. So. Yes. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. I'm going to get in trouble because I'm supposed to be in bed right now. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are.